Hello guys, it's your girl LaQuinta here to do my What's So video for the month of September. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am a new reseller, um, three months post reseller. I started July 4th. I am a part-time reseller and I say part-time because I, if you are new here, um, I only work three days a week at my full-time job so therefore I have four days that I plan to dedicate myself to my reselling business um, unfortunately I haven't been so successful with that this last month that's why I'm just getting this what so video out for September life has been chaotic I'm also a mother of four children so I have a lot of things going on behind the scene um, my kids are into football and cheer season which they're involved and a lot of sports however cheerleading and football season is the most time consuming we have practice uh, just about every day of the week our, our games are saturday um we're getting into the peak of competition and playoffs so my time has been my life has been stretched trying to have a personal life along with keeping up with these kids extracurricular activities i have a high schooler who is getting the high schooler blues but we're not going to get into that so my life has um been a bit much here so it's um my content is coming out a little late um if you are a repeated viewer, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. I pre appreciate the love on YouTube. I appreciate the love on Poshmark with the sales. I mean, excuse me, with your purchases because I've been getting a lot of customers from YouTube. So I appreciate that. My closet name is LQ Fashion. I have a Instagram page where I post fashion ideas. Um, I post like, you know, what's going on in my closet. Also, I'm documenting my progress as a new reseller. Um, so check me out there. That's LQ fashion underscore. Um, so let's get right into things. It's the month of September. The month of September was not a good one for me. Well, I'm not going to say it wasn't a good one because I'm not going to be appreciative for what I did make, for the sales that I did get, the love that I did get. I made money. Um, I made a little bit of money to hundreds of dollars. So I won't say it wasn't a good month, but I set goals for myself. And my goals for myself is to make more money from the previous month. And this month, unfortunately, I went down $59.35. So that doesn't make me happy. I'm not going to say that I'm not doing good. Also, um... If you are not new here, you know that I've already stated that the most vital thing for you to do or the more, most critical thing that you can do um, is compare yourself to other resellers. Um, that's not what I'm doing by all, by no means necessary. Obviously, you know, I would love to get as elite as other resellers that I look up to. However, I just feel like I frustrate myself. I'll drive myself crazy when I watch their what so videos and try to compete with them. I'm new. I'm learning the ropes. I'm doing great. I start off at July. I start off in July. July did good. Um, August, I made more money than July. September, I went down a little bit. I don't know what went wrong. I did hear other, a uh, few other resellers say that September was not a great month for them. So I don't know. Um, I love doing these wet soap videos. I feel like they are the most informative videos ever. They help me. They will help any upcoming resellers. So let's just get right into it because I've talked enough. So this month, I sold a total of 14 items which is seven less items from last month i don't like that but it is what it is let's start off with item number one item number one was a pair of tory birch like jeans and i am going to insert a picture probably over in this area because i see i have a lot of space over there and i'm shooting from in my bed today it's not my typical um filming area but i gotta get this contact out so i'm sitting in my bed i'm like let's go ahead and do it laquinta so um it was a pair of Tory Burch jeans they were a size 30. um i sold them for 25 dollars poshmark fee was five dollars um she gave me five stars they sold on september the third my profit was 19 dollars and 50 cents another side note if you're new here i don't typically list i don't state my cost of good however if you did the math in your head you can figure out exactly what it is but i don't you know 
headline what it is. Um, I will tell you that I do not like to spend over $5 on anything in my closet. Um, so that's that. My second item was a swimsuit. It was by the brand Smart and Sexy. Smart and Sexy is actually like a good brand, like um, reselling brand. I mean, the price margin is, isn't all that, but when you look it up, like I think they, they are known for like plus size bathing suit tops and you can like most bathing suits, you have to buy them generic. You have to buy a size large or you have to buy size medium with them. They let you mix and match. This bathing suit was a large bottom, but a 34, excuse me, 38 D top. So I think they're known for that. Um, I sold this item on the 4th of September. It sold for $17. Poshmark fee was $3.40. She gave me five stars. She also left me a love note. She said, I will definitely keep your closet in mind and thank you for the quick shipping. Um, my profit was $13.10. Another side note, if you are new here, I am always happy for any profit that's over $10. Obviously, the objective is always to make more money. However, if it's over $10, it makes me happy. Um, the third item, it was a purse. It was a Michael Kors purse. It was patent leather. It was one of the small little, you know, little bucket purses, older style. It was a maroon color. Um, I think I had it listed for $40. Um, the person offered me $30. Uh, there was a $6 fee for Poshmark, and my profit was $24. I did not pay for that. That was a give, so and it was old, so that was a full profit of $24, so that really made me happy. The person gave me five stars. That purchase was made on September the 8th. Fourth item. Fourth item was a pair of jeans. It was by the brand's Jeans It. It was a size 12. Um, I think I had them listed for $22. She offered me $20. Poshmark fee was $4. That sold on the 9th of September. She gave me five stars. My profit was $15.50. That makes me happy. My fifth item was a sweater. It was by the brand L.A. Hearts. Um, a little teeny boppy little, little uh, brand there. I actually was going to give that sweater to my daughter. Some stuff I list. Um not expecting for it to sell and i always tell my daughter i'm like because i i get her so i get them so much i have three girls and one boy and i get my girls so much stuff when i'm outsourcing for poshmark and for my business i always find cute stuff for my girls and as i stated i have a, a 14 year old so she's into all this stuff and sometimes when i get stuff i'm like okay i'm selling this on poshmark she wants it so i tell her if i list it and it doesn't sell in a certain amount of time it's yours if not it sold. So this did sell. This was something that she wanted. It was a cute little sweater. It was pink, um, extra small. Um, I think I, this may have been offered of Likers. Uh, I don't really remember. Uh, she got it for $14. Poshmark fee was $2.95. Um, profit for me was $10.55. That sold on the 12th of September. So I don't know if you guys are paying attention to my dates, but like, I don't know what was up with this month. Even like my, my soul dates, like I sold on the, on the third, I sold on the fourth. I didn't sell again to four days later until the eighth and I sold on the ninth and I didn't sell to three days later until the 12th. So my, my sales were like a bit crazy. My goal also is to get a sale a day. That makes me happy. I would like to get to a point where I'm making a sale a day and also I'm profiting no less than $400. $100 a week is good for me. I do it part-time. I do it as a, a extra source of income. I absolutely love fashion. I love everything about what I'm doing. I have big visions for this. This is just the starting point for me. And, you know, that's just what I hope for Hope for in, you know, the near future for my, my, my margin to be. My next item was a item number six. It was a Vince Camuto uh, blouse. It was black. This was actually purchased from a reseller who has a YouTube channel as well. Um, how I know that is because I'm very honest. I always list flaws. I really don't like to purchase stuff that has flaws, to be honest. I just don't like dealing with it. Unless it's like something that's super expensive. But if it's just something, I, I pretty much try to stay away from flaws. But this top when I was actually packaging it to ship it out to her, I noticed that it had like a deodorant stain underneath it. So I messaged her and I told her that I can throw it in the wash for her. And you know, I would have to ship it out on that Monday because I think she purchased it on that Thursday. 
Oh, I told her that I can send it to her as is. It's her preference. And then she messaged me back. Oh, I'm a reseller as well. And she's like, I found you on um, YouTube. And she said, I watch everything when I receive it from Poshmark anyway. So, you know, go ahead and send it. So I appreciated that. So I sent that out to her. Um, the shirt, I sold it to her for $22. Poshmark fee was $4.40. I gave her $1.50 off of shipping. My profit was $12.10. She gave me five stars. I appreciated that. My seventh item. Oh, that item sold on the 14th of September. My next item was a pair of vintage shorts. I wanted to keep these. It's a lot of stuff that I like to keep. And I put it up in my, I'm like my daughter. I put it up in my closet, you know, with the possibility of getting a sale for it. But I'm like wishfully hoping that like it doesn't sell so I can keep it. But these were a cute pair of vintage shorts. They were like the old school ash look. Um, they were blue and white. Really cute. Um, size 10, my size. Um, they sold on the 14th of the month. I sold them to her for $19. Poshmark took $3.80. Um, I gave her $150 off of shipping. And she... Uh, Gave me a little love note saying packaging was so cute. Thank you for fast shipping. I'm all, I always get five stars for the most part. I've had experience in the past getting four stars for no reason. That really bothered me because I like to get five stars all the time. But I still tell you I get five stars. And I always get love notes for my um, shipping because my goal is always to get it out the next day or the same. The next day, the latest. So, and I do do cute little packaging my kids, my daughter, she's like, oh, mom, you're so extra because we've ordered stuff from Poshmark before and we people really don't do all that I do. But it's a business for me. Some people who just sell this stuff out of their closet, they may not put that much effort into it, but I put a lot of effort into it because as I stated, this is my starting margin for LQ Fashion. I plan to do other things with it. So I want to deliver, you know, quality stuff, good packaging, uh, build a support to have good customer service. So I do the most, as my daughter say. Next item, it was um, a bundle and it was from another reseller. She also found me on YouTube, I appreciate her. I'm gonna try to insert these uh, people name because I appreciate the love. Um, so how I ended up knowing that she was a reseller is because I made a booboo. I made a booboo, I made a booboo. What I did was she bundled two shirts, I sent her the wrong shirt. I did not realize it until the next day I went to share my closet and I'm like, why is this shirt that this woman just brought? Why, why does it indicate soul? Like she, she brought this, like, why doesn't it say sold? <laughs> and I realized that I sent her the wrong, wrong shirt. She didn't buy the shirt that I sent her. I sent her the wrong shirt. So I immediately messaged her. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I sent you the wrong shirt. Luckily, she was like the nicest person in the world. She's like, what size was it? How does it look? I said, I'll go ahead and um, I'll tag you under the shirt. And actually it's the same size, size and same style as the shirt that you actually ordered um that you purchased or whatever and she messaged me back and she's like i actually was looking at that shirt i was like stuck in between the shirt that i purchased and this shirt no big deal if i can fit it i would so keep it so i don't know she lived local she got it you know fairly um fairly quick and she messaged me and told me no big deal she loved the shirt which i did lose a little bit for it because the shirt that i sold her by mistake um, was a little bit more expensive than the one she actually purchased but for the inconvenience and for my mistake I didn't mind by no means, you know blessing her with a more expensive shirt. So she bundled two shirts um, Sorry, my mouth is extremely dry. I need to get up and get a cup of water. I keep licking my lips and swallowing doing all this talking so um it was a floor shirt. I love that shirt. I wanted to keep that shirt. It was like a, it didn't even have a tag and I don't know what brand it was, but it was super cute and it's super fall, so, super on trend right now. Um, and then it was a uh, pink ruffle uh, Kinsey brand shirt. Um, that shirt had been sitting in my closet since I started Poshmark in July. It is such a cute shirt. I have no, I have no idea why I didn't, it didn't, why it took so long to sell, but whatever. So she bundled both of the shirts um, for thirty two dollars. Poshmark took six dollars and forty cents for fees. I gave her one fifty off shipping. That sold on the twentieth. She gave me five stars. She said, "Love both shirts. Well packaging, fast shipping." As you, if you are paying attention to the dates that things are sold, my last pair of shorts was sold on the 14th. These, 
bundle shirts was not sold till the 20th. That was six days of no sales. I don't like that. That drove me crazy. I was sharing my closet like crazy. So I really don't know. Like I'm just learning. I, I'm even learning to share my closet different times of the day to see if that impacts my sale. I really just don't know what went wrong with September because like to go six days without sales, that is not good for me. So the next item, that was item eight, the eighth and the ninth item, because I am um, listing my bundle items as like, you know, two, it's one sale, obviously, but I'm listing it as two different items. So item number 10, it was a Ralph Lauren jacket. It was a cute jacket, a really cute jacket. Um, it was a size medium. Um, I had it listed for $60, $65. I think she offered me uh 45 or something and then i said 15 and you know we came we went back and forth with counter offering and we settled for 54 dollars poshmark fees was ten dollars and 80 cents my profit was the full profit of 40 dollars and 20 cents it actually was a jacket that i bought for my daughter last christmas she didn't like it she never wore it um so it was sitting in my closet I was going to eventually wear. But I'm like, you know what? It's going into fall and winter. Let me just put it on here and see if it sells. And that jacket, jacket sold like within a week. It was a nice jacket. And it was like $150 jacket. I only had it listed for $0.65. Cents. $0.65. Cents. Heck no. $65. And it was brand new with tag. So, you know, that's so good. Next item. Oh, I ran into some more trouble. My next item would have been a Gucci purse. Um, the person purchased the purse. I had the purse listed for $600 because it is currently in Gucci outlet right now for, I believe it was $8, $80, excuse me, $890. So I listed it for six because it did have some makeup staining in the inside. I disclosed all flaws. It had makeup stains in the inside and it did have some sort of stain that down at the bottom of the purse in which I, um, did uh make you know that aware i did dis disclose that information um it was a gift to me so i kind of became a little bit desperate because it wasn't getting as much attention as i thought it would have gotten it was a cute purse but it's not a versatile purse it was jean um it had bronze scraps i've worn it maybe three times and when i've worn it three times i either wear it with all black or all white because it's not a versatile purse but it is gucci and it, it retails for almost $1,000. I had it listed for $600 due to the flaws that it had. Um, this person offered me like maybe, she offered me, I think, $250. And I had it listed for um, $600. $600 or $650. I don't really remember. I think I had it for $600. And um, we kind of went back and forth with offers and counter offers. And we settled for $325. I came a little bit desperate. I'm like, whatever. Let me go ahead and get rid of this purse. I'm going to gain the full profit of the purse because, I mean, it was a gift. Now, the person I got the gift from, no, I didn't have a receipt. I didn't have the box anymore. I didn't have, that's another reason why I had to take less money because I know, you know, people want the duster bag. They want all the stuff, which I think I'm going to stay away from putting um, designer bags on here due to this experience because it's like people can say whatever when it comes to authenticating the bag. Um, she was very weary about whether it was real or not. I told her it was completely real. This person would have not brought me a fake bag. And also when I got it, I want, I was just curious to know how you authenticate a, um, Gucci bag. So I educated myself on ways to realize that it was real. It was completely real. I've had that purse for like three years and you know, I've only worn it a few times. So it was real. And so we kind of went back and forth. So to comfort her a little bit, I told her, I said, you have three days to accept the, the item. Go get it authenticated. That's how confident I was in that it was a real purse. I said, go get it authenticated. And you know, um, once it's authenticated, then you can accept the purchase. I had no doubt that she wasn't gonna ex it, she wasn't gonna accept the purchase because you know I know that it's real. So she's like, oh, okay, no problem. If you don't mind me asking, why are you getting rid? We kind of went to my personal email. She asked for my email. Excuse me. She asked if I can send her pictures of me wearing the purse. She questioned me a lot about the purse. But I'm like, you, co you know what? No big deal. I, I know it has to be very risky. You know, I know it's a lot of fraud. I, there's a lot of, uh, you know, not so nice people, unhonest people. So I was like, you no know, big deal. I'll send her messages. It doesn't really matter. So I sent her a picture of me wearing the purse. I gave her a little brief description of why I didn't want the purse anymore. Um, and so she said, can you send me pictures of the 
purse. Now I'm like, okay, there's pictures of the purse under the post. Like, you can just go get that. But I'm like, no big deal. Put a smile, customer service. And so I sent her like 10 pictures of the purse. So she said, okay, I'm so excited. Can't wait to get it. So I felt like we were good to go because I waited to the third day to send it out because I didn't know where it was going because she was asking a lot of questions. So I wanted her to be as comfortable as possible with her purchase. So the day that I sent it out, which is the third day that Poshmark gives you to send out, so which they like for you to send stuff out in three days. Or as soon as I left the post office, I get a message from her. Oh, if you didn't send the purse out already, don't send it. Um, if you have, don't worry about it. So I messaged her. I said, I legit like just left the post office. It is it's gone. And she's like, okay, no big deal. So at that point, I knew what was going to happen. I'm like, I'm going to get a claim. She's going to return the purse. She's going to come up with something. And sure enough, um, I got a claim. Her saying that the she knew that the purse, I, I listed that the purse had makeup staining in the inside. And you, as you can see, I'm a brown girl and it was beige inside. So it was brown stains, which I disclosed. Um, she didn't expect for it to be to that extent, but I'm like, this is nearly a thousand dollar purse that you got for $325. And you telling me you care about makeup stains inside the purse that no one can see. So at that point, I'm like, I'm done with it. So I just let her return the purse. I didn't even message back to anything. Cause it was like, at that point I was over it. So number 11, it is uh, a pair of Gaicho pants. It's by the brand Celebrity Pink. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that brand. It's not an expensive brand. I personally buy that brand for myself. Sorry, loves. I got a call. Um, I didn't know if you're shooting a video from your phone and the call comes in. It, like, shuts your video off. So I had to add a second piece. I'm not going to do a two-part. I'm just going to try to merge these videos together. I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to pray that I can because I'm definitely not going to shoot this video over. <laughs> so um, as I was stating, Celebrity Pink is a really good brand. If you run into that brand, pick it up. I normally find them in Ross for about $24.99. Um, these particular ones I found inside of Marshalls. Um, they were on the clearance rack for $3. I think maybe because it was the style of the pants because they fit to perfection. They are the most soft, stretchy, body-accommodating jeans ever. But I guess maybe because they were guy show, that's not really a popular style. You know, I most people buy them for the straight legs. That's why they had them on clearance. So I sold those for $20. Um, Poshmark fee was four. Um, I profited $13 off of those. Very grateful for that. My next item was a H&M Divided cute skirt i wanted to keep it i know i said a lot i wanted to keep it but i didn't want to keep it, it was such a cute on trend skirt like it was a leather skirt with fringes on it super cute super fallish super on trend um my profit from that was ten dollars and fifty cents i sold the skirt for twenty dollars four dollar poshmark fee 150 off of shipping my profit was ten dollars and fifty cents to get ten dollars and fifty cents off a bra uh, a mall brand such as h m charlotte Ruse forever 21 be grateful like because these items in reality they go on clearance for the amount of money that most of us are asking for on poshmark so maybe the mall is out of it and they use poshmark as a resource to come and find the item because it's sold out but you really can't price your margin really high on mall items being fair well i personally don't i'm not gonna say speaking fair because it's a lot of people price very high i i know this but that's not my business Okay, my next item, it was a robe. It was a red Victoria's Secret, really cute robe. It was a size medium large. Um, I had it listed for $20. Poshmark fee was $4, $1.50 off of shipping. My profit was $13.50. That sold on the 28th of September. Oh, I failed to mention that that divided French skirt sold on the 24th, 25th. So see, there was a three-day gap between that. I don't like that. I want to make a sale every day, but you know, whatever. My final item, it was a Michael Kors like sweater top, sweater, but very thin, had little sparklies on it, very cute. It was a uh, pre-owned, very nice, um, a size medium, no flaws, uh, sold on the 30th of the month. That was my last sale of the month. I I think she sent me an offer for $17. I got a little desperate at that point because I think I had that sweater listed for $25, but I took her $17. Poshmark fee was $3.40. Um, my profit was $13.10. So that is my 14 items for the month of September. If you are new here, as you can see, I have a variety of items. 
I am most known for having low end and high end. I don't believe in brand, brand, brand. I like style over brand. So that's why I do list the brands that I sell to let you know, you don't have to get all that top of the line stuff to have a successful business in reselling. If you can make 50 cents look like $10, you are winning. Be grateful. The objective is always to get the most money, to get as most as you much as you can possibly get. But don't be so stir on brand. If you see stuff that just is a trending piece if you see stuff that is a stylish piece i encourage you to pick it up okay so let's get to numbers my gross amount for this month was 310 dollars um i 310 dollars with fees and poshmark discounts that took me down $69.65. So that made my net earning $240.35 minus, listen to this, you're gonna freak out. You guys are gonna freak out. My cost of good for this month was $19. When I tell you I am the best at sourcing, I don't, I'm not spending all that money. It feeds the purpose, I'm not going to no store spending. $20 on an item to resell it for 40. I am so good with sourcing. I have a hidden jewel in my area that I go to that no one would ever think to go to. Um, I've been to the bins once. Um, I go to local thrift stores, but I have this hidden jewel where I get a lot of items for 50 cents. I'm so grateful. They're always in great condition. So my cost of goods for this month was $19. Did you hear me? $19. So that made my profit what went into my bank account two hundred and twenty one dollars and thirty five cents no that is not the type of money that i inspire you to have no yes my goal is to make four hundred dollars a month this is still new month three things will get better i'm just grateful that i made nineteen dollars look like two hundred and twenty one dollars and eighty five cents so if you know what I mean, a profit is a profit in due times. I did decide it in the month of October. I've took a different um, approach with some things. I start doing something new, which I will speak about in my upcoming um, What's So video. And I'm trying to, and I honestly see that it has made a difference because for the month of August, October, I've been doing pretty well. So I'm very impressed with myself for the month of October. I've been getting close to a sale a day. So um, I'm happy about that. So... I encourage you all to stay positive. Keep pushing my new resellers. We will get the hang of this. It's awesome. Make that money. If you can make 50 cent look like a dollar, keep, you're doing great. So I do want to share this. I noticed that some people do it, some people don't. It kind of help you just to know what, are, what is selling. It was three pants that sold, one swimsuit, one purse, two sweaters, three tops, one pair of shorts, one jacket, one robe, one skirt. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I have to do a haul. I am getting so backed up on all the stuff that I'm sourcing. Life has been chaotic. I know it's not an excuse. I know when I first started this channel, I promised to put out a video a day. I'm sorry if I failed you. Please hit that bell and, um, so that you can get the notification when I do upload videos. I'm always trying my best to get it out. Um, I am going to do a haul soon. Hopefully, I have enough time maybe tomorrow morning to do it. The kids are out of school. I don't have to get up early you know, to get them ready for school. I can shoot a video really quick. I got a lot of cool stuff. I've added so much new stuff in my closet. Please go check me out. LQ Fashion on Poshmark. LQ Fashion underscore on Instagram. I love you all. Hashtag I shop for us. I believe in affordable items. I'm not trying to break your pockets. I'm trying to do out what I love to do, which is shop and fashion and help you guys as well. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.